Hi, welcome back to McClutchy Mass. My name is Natalie McClutchy and today I have a free resource to offer you. All you need to do to access this resource is message me at mcclutchymass at yahoo.com. Email's shown on the screen there right now. And in this particular resource, it's a colourful way of representing all of the formulas that we've looked at so far in this trigonometry unit for our senior year 10 and above students. So what we've got in this first column is the formula. A diagram of the type of triangle it will be used in and the actual letters correspond in that particular diagram to the formula and the situation of when you'd use it. So for example with our first formula half times base times height it's for right angle triangles only to find the area and so on. So we've got that there for the, the other one for our non right angle triangles to find the area formula and also Heron's rule to find our formula and it's got the situation you would use that there. And then we've got our sine rule and our cosine rule for non right angle triangles. When do you use which one? If you'd like a copy of this, as I mentioned, it's free. Just send me an email at mcclutchymass at yahoo.com. I would highly recommend you reprint it out in colour, stick it up in prominent places in your home, maybe on your bathroom mirror, maybe on your bedroom wall. You could even print another copy and cut it up into um, like a puzzle parts, shuffle the parts and see if you can actually match the puzzle parts. Now, if you're going to do that, that'd probably be best to actually um, do that one in black and white when you're printing it and that way you won't get any cheat sheets. But if you can shuffle that up, that really activates great parts of your brain for higher order thinking skills. Well, I hope this has been helpful to you today. I look forward to hearing from you.